What's up guys, it's the Swingman here back with another upload. Today I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update with my long drive portion of my life, as well as some cool things that happened in this past trip and you know with my training overall. So there's a lot of things going on right now and I just wanna keep you guys posted. There's some things that are in the works that I'm so excited to announce to you guys. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself right now but I definitely want to give you guys an update on what has happened so far in my world long drive life. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and here we go. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? 302 bro, what? <laughs> Screaming for that? <laughs> <laughs> The swing man. I didn't die. Oh it doesn't matter where it went. Look at that. That's moving it. <laughs> Bink. Look how straight that is. Ooh. That ball's ripped. Ooh. Rip. Oh, right down the pipe. Right down the line. It's on the line. <laughs> 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 Alright guys. So not to embarrass Eric Flynn here, but it's gonna kinda segue into some exciting things I got going on uh for my channel. So Starting off, those first clips I showed you guys, that was at uh, one of the long drivers and a, a friend of mine, Bobby Bradley's shop down in West Palm. And uh, I had an opportunity to hit on his track, man, yeah, for the first time. Now that is the measurement tool that is used in long drive. And as you can see that first clip, I hit 219.4 miles an hour, which is a personal record of mine on any simulator. And it really did get me excited as far as my training goes. So. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you knew that I was in West Palm this past weekend and it was uh, for a baseball trip, but a lot of cool things happened in my long drive life and it was kind of just random how it happened, but it was one of those situations where it just seemed like everything kept falling into place. And I basically ran into these three guys at the restaurant that I recognized on YouTube and they're, they're big YouTubers. I put their pages up here. And I've been watching them for weeks. And actually, Steven, he posted a clip of him doing an impersonation of my swing and asked people if they could guess whose swing it is. And I thought that was so cool because I already knew these guys. I followed them. You know, I didn't know them personally, but I've been watching their videos and I thought that was really neat. So I was telling my wife about it, you know, as far as them, how far they've gone in their channel. And it excites me, it, you know, where I could possibly go with my channel. And uh, it was just a freak thing that I ran into him at a restaurant down there. And two days later, I get a call from Bobby Bradley saying that, you know, I was right in his backyard, which I didn't realize he lived around that area. So I ended up going to his shop and those YouTubers were actually filming in his shop. <laughs> it was like, it was just insane how it all just kind of fell together like that. So I had an opportunity to meet those guys and, and take some swings on the simulator. So it, it was really cool. And as far as my Instagram page, you know, on a, on a normal week, I'm sitting between four to 7,000 profile visits a week. And, uh, just through that weekend, I'm up, you know, around 20,000 profile visits. So getting a lot of subscribers, a lot of views, and, uh, it's really exciting, uh, as far as that goes. And as far as my training, you know, training has been going well. And it's shown in the ball speed numbers I'm throwing up there, obviously on the track, man, but also my flight scope simulator that I did end up buying. And uh, I'll be posting some cool driving range videos of me working on that as well. So another cool idea uh, that 
you know, Eric brought up to me when we we're down in Florida, Eric doesn't golf. So Eric Flynn, he, I post, I tag him on everything on Instagram. He's, he's a guy I do a lot of home run derbies against, but he doesn't play any golf at all. And <laughs> you can see in some of those swings he took, uh, that's, it's quite evident, but, uh, basically as far as exit velocity with a baseball bat, you know, we're pretty much spot on with each other. I honestly think he, he's a little quicker than I am on a normal basis. And, um, but with a golf club, I'm about 40 miles an hour faster, at least, uh, with ball speed. Eric had a great time down in Florida hitting golf balls and he actually brought the idea up with, with me. And I think it is a really good idea that we're going to start having him get to the range with me once a week and we're going to work with him trying to turn him into a long driver so he's very excited about it i'm super pumped about it and one thing that people don't realize is is world long drive is a sport that's really trying to grow it's a very exciting sport to watch it's, it's even more exciting to compete in and i think a lot of people get the wrong impression about world long drive you do not have to be a golfer to be successful in world long drive. You know, I'm, I just caught the end of the season last, you know, this, this year and I'm competing full time next year and I am not a golfer. You know, I can golf a little bit, but you know, baseball is my background and Eric and I are basically going to be shooting our progress week to week. Now that I have a simulator, you know, I have experience and I have my own style and swing coming from a baseball angle. So he really would like to compete next year. And he just, he, he had a right with it. So I'm excited to see where that goes. You know, I really do think he can compete. He's a monster with a baseball bat. He's, he's just got really fast hands and he understands how to use his body and he trains hard. So I'm confident that he can learn how to swing a golf club properly and put up some huge numbers uh, in the sport. But it's also gonna tie into the, the whole process of, of me building long drive and, and almost opening that door for people who played baseball or other sports and wanna try to compete. Uh, this is definitely a way to do it. I, I, I tell everyone all the time, this is most excited about, about anything competition-wise ever since I, I retired from baseball. And every every night I go to bed, I, I'm just super excited to, to wake up the next day and get to it, you know, figure out a way to, to make myself better. And my gym sessions have gotten exponentially better since I've, you know, committed to training for this. And it's it's showing in my my overall swing and my consistency, my speeds, everything's going up. So one video I will be posting up soon would be for those baseball players specifically that are trying to get into golf. I get this message all the time uh, throughout the weeks and it's with baseball players that want to start playing golf and they can't translate their power they have with a bat into a golf club. So the series with Eric Flynn would be a good way for those ball players to try to follow the process, but I will be posting a quick video about some some ways you could practice it at the range and keep it condensed into one sort of training video, I guess you could say. So some things going on behind the scenes as well. I got two other huge pieces of news and they're very big pieces, but I am not going to talk about it right now. Um, I'm going to wait till things are solidified with these things before I announce it to you guys. But it is really exciting stuff for the channel and my personal life as well. So all those things will be shared with you guys as soon as they are finished with. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it's kind of, uh, you know, it's a little dragged out, but um, for me, it's it's some really cool things happening with Long Drive. This will be a, a huge portion of of my life this channel and uh and don't worry the baseball will still be there the impersonations will be there the hitting tips the workout tips i have uh some more time opening up now with the winter coming in um as far as the jobs i do 
you know, the schedule starts switching right about this time of year. So you guys are going to see a lot more consistent uploads. And uh, again, as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions as far as videos, some things you'd like to see, some tips, you know, like I said, I get a bunch of them a day and I try to make videos to help as many guys as I can. But if you have any new fresh ideas, uh, again, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I didn't die. Oh, my God. Woo, shit. Oh, <laughs>